Welcome back, Hydro Nation. Nick here, hailing from St. Louis, Missouri, with our downstairs hydroponic experiment. This is the second time we're using our system. It's probably been about four weeks since I've um, made the last update. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give a quick little update as to where we're at here. Our lettuces are at the last stage of their life. Uh, they're getting kind of tall and... Pretty soon they're gonna to start to taste kind of tangy and we're gonna go ahead and reseed uh, and get some new started. These are probably seven weeks old, um, but as you can see, kale's probably uh, ready to be harvested. We've harvested a lot of the lettuce already, like we'll just take uh, some leaves off like this and use this for salads. And um, it's kind of cool because we had, haven't had to buy lettuce. Uh, we've harvested some of the basils and uh, cilantro and stuff like that, but the lettuce is uh, just about ready to be done. We have maybe another week's worth of uh, time to pull us up, get the harvest some lettuces, and um, uh, yeah, but it's going really well. It worked exactly the way we wanted it to. I had a couple hiccups, but I'll talk about that in another video. As you can see right here, we have a cucumber growing. That was about the size of a toothpick yesterday. It's going like crazy. I've already picked one huge cucumber to full maturity. Um, and uh, this, is, this system over here has the squash, the cucumbers, peppers, strawberries, uh, zucchinis, and eggplant. And if you can see in there, we got some yellow squash growing. We have a huge cucumber, a huge, uh, um, oh, excuse me, uh, zucchini growing in there. That's a monster one. I think you can see that okay. And then uh, maybe about a dozen or so just regular sized ones that are growing in there. Uh, the uh, This is a zucchini flower. Every day they bloom and open up and then close up at night. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. I just pulled the roots out of this uh, this tube right here. And those roots were all of the um, zucchini and squash uh, and cucumber roots. And uh, I put them in my worm farm. Got the tomatoes topping out on the top here. I'm going to start to weave them into the trellis. And uh, tomatoes will be starting here in a minute. Maybe this uh, maybe this week we'll start to see some small tomatoes coming up, and hopefully they can get ripe pretty quick. Also have a strawberry that's grown here, which is awesome. We've been waiting for the strawberries for last last time we ran the system. We could not get any strawberries to grow bigger than this plant right here, and uh, now they're all getting pretty big and. Uh, Strawberries are starting to come up, so it's really exciting. My daughter loves strawberries, and um, can't wait to have some of them that we can harvest. So, yeah, we had some hiccups. I'm going to actually explain some of the hiccups here uh, in another video, but uh, for the most part, uh, has been running pretty smooth, pretty steady growth. Uh, I've had to make some small adjustments, like raising the lights up a little bit and uh, messing with the nutrient levels and stuff like that but it's going pretty good for a downstairs hydroponic experiment I think uh, we are accomplishing what we set out to accomplish so anyway please leave your suggestions comments or anything like that uh, love to hear what we could be doing differently or better um, we are not the experts we're just uh, doing a downstairs hydroponic experiment but Nick here from the Hydro Nation signing off, and uh, we'll see you next time.